What's up you guys? So it's your girl and this wig video is going to be in partnership with Best Lace Wigs. They've been around for a minute and check out this wig you guys. So it is a lace frontal highlighted. You know your girl loves colors like this. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to go ahead and sew on an elastic band. But this wig does come with the standard tools like combs inside, an adjustable strap, and the parting is five and a half by six. There's parting all over. You can do different styles with this. But girl, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and sew an elastic band in this unit. And while I do that, I'll show you guys how your wig comes. I know it's been a while. Haven't talked since July. You've been on my mind. Don't hang up. I know it's been some time since I called you mine. You've been on my mind. Don't hang up. Maybe I'm a little bit jealous Haven't told my friends we ended it Yeah, I know that it is wrong Maybe it's a little bit selfish Calling you up when I'm wasted When I know that you moved on Is she in your arms right now? Tell me is she gonna stay the night? Tell me is she in your arms right now? Talk things through. Tell me what to do. Don't give up. After all that we've been through, I give my all to you. Just tell me what to do. Don't, Don't give up on me yet. Maybe I'm a little bit jealous. Haven't told my friends we ended it. Yeah, I know that it's wrong. It's wrong. It's Maybe wrong. it's a little. Selfish calling you up when I'm wasted When I know that you moved on Is she in your arms right now? Tell me is she gonna stay the night? Tell me is she in your arms right now? Is she in your arms tonight? I get used to So y'all see, I went ahead and sewed an elastic band in this just to make sure that it fits nice and tight and flush to my head. I actually haven't done that in a minute, so I decided to do it just now because I really didn't want to add too much hairspray, which I'm going to do anyways. So as you guys seen, this wig is 18 inches. It's 150% in density, transparent lace. It had a pre-plucked hairline and all that, you know, great stuff to get you started. So what I did prior to recording this portion after I showcased the wig is I did bleach the knots in it just to lift them more and of course I went ahead and pre-plucked the hairline to make it customizable to suit my own taste and of course you guys seen I did put some spiral curls in them but we'll talk about the spiral curls later on in the video so what I'm just doing now is just taking my threading snips and I'm gonna cut in the lace in three slices or pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and take my bed head and spray that all around the perimeter of the hair take my rat tail comb and blow dry that into my hairline along with that I'm making sure to press into the lace now I do see a lot of people doing it this way on YouTube you know I do it a little bit different I always you know part the hairline and then spray the hairspray in between the hair the um the hairline so kind of like you know i'll part like it looks like i'm gonna make a whole bunch of baby hairs and then i'll spray in between either way it's up to you which way you want to do it this does seem to hold it a little bit tighter um 
that's it depends on i guess how much hairspray you're spraying but also i notice when i do it this method it always seems like you know some of the lace gets stuck to my head and then i have to peel it up you know i guess that's just you know the downfall of it it's easy to do it like this and it's easy to do it the opposite way as well now this part right here i'm just going to cut a little bit over my ear because the wig if you see notice it is going below my ear so I don't want it to be flapping over my ear. So I'm just trying to make it fit properly. And then once again, I took that hairspray and that comb and just pressed into the lace with my blow dryer. In case you guys are wondering where I got this blow dryer from, it is from Amazon. I love it. It comes with three other tools, which is two brushes and a um, diffuser. So yes, it's blow dryer. You can change the heads of it. Blow dryer, two different brushes and a diffuser for wet curly hair. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that step on the opposite side. And I'm also going to customize the wig once again by cutting it over my ears. Now, let me tell y'all something. This video, I didn't, I wasn't really feeling this whole entire look, not the hair, but the makeup look. It took me, and I kid you guys not, I don't know what was up with my eyebrows that day, but it took me like over a damn um, hour to do my eyebrows. I didn't even have the right eyebrow pencil or, you know, gel, pomade, whatever I use. So I had to use a dark darker color. My eyebrows are never this dark. They look horrible. I'm so irritated. Then I got so irritated with the eyeshadow. Just the entire makeup look was just pissing me off. You know how you get, you, you lose your vibe. Like I seriously was like, you know what? I don't even feel like doing the video anymore or any videos. Then the eyelashes. So this was not like a really good day for me um, with the entire makeup look or anything. So just bear with me. Don't come for me for my eyebrows because yes, I do know that they're too dark and yeah, I, I'm just not feeling them at all. So don't come for me. So this is the part where I was talking about where you know how the lace gets stuck to your hairline and I still have to take like some hairspray, put it on the tip of my comb and kind of like press it into the lace because once you cut it, I did notice that the edges are kind of jagged on the lace. Like, you know, they're not laying flat to your head. So I'm not sure if other people have this issue or have to do this, but this is what I've done so far. And this is probably like the third time that I've applied it like this. My eyebrows are really pissing me off. I think that's why I look so angry in this video. So as you see, you see I had to pull it up and then cut away. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I don't know if I prefer this method or the way that I've done it, but as you guys see right there, then it leaves a jagged edge and I have to take the hairspray and kind of like use my fingertips or you use the comb and kind of like press into the lace so that way it'll melt back into your hairline. I'm gonna be honest with this lace, it is really good lace. Like the lace on this wig is bomb. It does melt into your skin as long as you do it properly, you know, like adhere it, don't let, don't leave it sticking up, but it does, it does lay nice into your skin. But them brows, girl, no. My brows are definitely a no, too dark. You know, yes, yeah, definitely too dark, but we just gonna forget about the brows and just act like they just not there. I have like two other videos with the same eyebrows with the same makeup look. So you will hear me ranting about it later on. But anyway, so this hair is Indian hair. And okay, so I did style the hair after you know I washed it and all that good stuff and I was trying to go for something different but I was not really feeling the way this hair came out with the curl it says 150% density but it seems like it's a little too thin for me in certain areas especially at the ends that's just my opinion the color is beautiful the lace is amazing the hairline is too but I'm, you know what? I'm not like a huge fan of Indian textured hair. I'm just not a fan of Indian hair. So Indian Remy hair, I'm just not, you know, when you go to like Brazilian, I think like, I'm just not a huge fan of Indian hair. You can tell the difference from the way it performs in curls or styles with Indian hair. So I think like Indian raw hair is probably best, but I wasn't really like a huge fan of this particular hair. There were too many short hairs in it. If you can see that right here, there was just too many short hairs. So I really didn't like the way these curls came out for this particular hair texture. So what I went ahead and did is I used my brush portion of this just to kind of like loosen the curls and hopefully give it a little bit, you know, more pizzazz. But there's too many short hairs in the wig for me. Um, and I think it's a lot more noticeable due to the color. So 
So because I wasn't like a huge fan of the style of the curls and just the flair of it, I decided to do something totally different. Um, it ain't totally different because I've done this before, but because I didn't really care for the hair, the Indian hair, I just decided to corn roll it because damn, it's hot as hell out here. It's like 117 degrees. And to be honest, I would rather wear this in two corn rolls, two braids, two twists, whatever. I really don't care for hair on my face. Now keep in mind, I got these long nails on. So my corn rolling skills, corn braiding skills are not as good as they normally would be without any hair without any nails on. So once again, don't come to me if you think my braid is kind of messy or tousled or all over the place. I'm very aware of that. Like I said, it has to do with my fingernails. But the hairline on this is bomb as hell. Y'all cannot front. Like this hairline is superb, nice, finito. Like look, can you see it? It is melted. Girl, look like it's grown out of my scalp, okay? And the brows, yes, the brows are way too dark for this hair color. Ugh. If I could wipe off the brows right now, I definitely would. But let's just not focus on those ugly ass brows. Let's focus on this hair from Best Lace Wigs. The hair, um, like this hairline. This hairline is bomb. This lace is bomb too. And you could definitely put it up in a ponytail, braid it. Girl, you could do a lot of things with good lace. This is some really good lace. And so I'm just gonna be rocking these braids in this particular hairstyle. And you know, I'm gonna not try to harbor on these brows so much or the foundation. I mean, yeah, the foundation really wasn't that great either. I used something different, but hey, it's just the brows for me, sis. It's the brows and the eyeshadow look, but whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you check the description box below for Best Lace Wigs. They've been around forever, and it's probably like my 100th time working with them. I love them. They do have some really good quality wigs, but just this one wasn't my favorite too much, but you know, it did still turn out nice. The lace is the number one thing, girl. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.